What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we need to have a look at some lovely One Piece news, including a brand new promo that has literally just been revealed, which is awesome, and some other cool stuff that I think you should know about. Cool? Cool. So with all of that borne in mind, then, let's start off with the Trafalgar Law, and I warned you this was coming. I told you the other day that I'd picked up the latest issue of the Jump magazine, and one of the first things I do when I pick up a new issue of a magazine like V-Jump from Japan is I flick to the next month in V-Jump section, and I go and have a look at, you know, what's coming next month in V-Jump. And it included Trafalgar Law, and as you can see here, the artwork that was used in the magazine is actually the same artwork that they went and used for the card, which honestly shouldn't surprise anyone, we, we probably should have seen this coming. And this is awesome, and we love it. Incidentally, this month's issue of V-Jump magazine doesn't have one piece like that. But it does have a couple of a Union Arena promos, including a Demon Slayer one, which is why I rushed to pick it up. So this new Trafalgar Law promo then, what have we got? Well, I have done a translation myself, and I did it so quickly, I've not actually seen anybody else posting a translation of it. But I'm pretty sure I'm right about this. So what we've got is 4 cost 5,000 power counter plus 1,000. I will obviously check before I upload the video. And what we've got here is, on play, you may rest your leader and KO one of your opponent's characters with a cost of one or less. Yes. Love this, ladies and gentlemen, love it. I mean, first of all, I don't think we actually paused for long enough to sit there and look at quite how amazing the artwork for this is. This is a beautiful looking card. But this strikes me as one that could actually be genuinely good. Now, the whole resting your leader thing, yeah, obviously that's kind of a big deal. Because if you rest your leader, you can't attack with your leader because you need your leader to be active and then rest it in order to attack. But if you rest it for this, you can't attack with it. But of course, there's a reason for that. And that is because we've got those leaders in this particular set. And I'm looking at Rebecca for law here. That very clearly have... Well, they don't attack. So they're 5,000 power, 5 life, despite being dual color. Remember, the general rule is that if you are dual color, you only have 4 life. But here they get 5 life, but they can't attack. So you've got a leader already in Rebecca, and let, let's make no bones about this. This might be a promo, not a card that's coming around in OPO4, but this is very, very much... I mean, look, it's releasing around about the time OPO4 is, and it is very, very, very clearly designed to be used with it. Just like when Yellow was coming into the game, and all of a sudden there's a Yellow Luffy promo, and there's a Yellow Sanji promo coming around, and oh, look... Who could possibly have seen that coming? So, yeah, we, we, we've seen stuff like this before. And as a side note here, I really, really appreciate that over in Japan, when they have these magazine promos, they do tend to try and match them to what's actually going on in the card game at the moment. I think that's pretty gosh darned awesome. So this is clearly designed to be used with Rebecca. And I love it, ladies and gentlemen. I love it. Now, Rebecca's skill is activate main once per turn, pay one. If you have six or fewer cards in hand, look at two cards at the top of your deck, grab a dress Rosa card and add it to your hand, and then trash the rest. So then we ask, well, hang on a second, is Trafalgar Law a dress Rosa card? Well, yeah, obviously. We've got Heart Pirates and Dress Rosa here. But you kind of had to, right? Again, this card is very, very, very blatantly designed to be used with Rebecca. So obviously it can be searched out using Rebecca. Otherwise, this would be kind of bad planning on the um, on the card designer's part. So that was always going to be the case. But yes, to confirm, that is very much the case. So you search it out with Rebecca. Then you play it. And then you rest Rebecca so that you can go ahead and delete something. No, that's Digimon. KO something. Yeah. Sounds good to me, ladies and gentlemen. Sounds good to me. One fun little side note. You do not rest Rebecca to use the skill, but it is specifically limited to once during your turn. 
and this is again this is all very deliberate because if you had to rest the leader you wouldn't be able to use this skill and that would be a bad thing and of course we had a look at cavendish the other day that's got a when attacking skill, you may rest your leader to KO one of your opponent's characters that costs one or less, and then trash two cards on the top of your deck. If you're thinking, hang on a second, Wossy, this is starting to sound quite a lot like Cavendish, yeah, it is. That's an absolutely fair point to make. This is on play, not when attacking, but this doesn't make you trash two cards on the top of your deck. But then again, we've got that Luffy that... If you shuffle seven cards from the, your discard pile and put them on the bottom of your deck, you can basically restand Luffy once per turn, but then it doesn't restand during your refresh phase. So, yeah, trashing cards on the top of your deck in, in black in this set can actually be a good thing. But my point is, these are similar kind of cards. You're KOing small characters. And as I've told you a million times, remember this is what black does. Black loves to reduce the cost of characters. The classic example I use here is Kazan, just because it's a card I absolutely adore. That's just got the static skill that all of your opponent's characters' costs are reduced by five. Obviously, when they're in play, they, your opponent can't just play these all super cheap. That would be broken. So here, of course, it's not really a one cost. If Kazan's in play, it's a six cost. And I'm not going to go through every black card that can reduce cost. We'd be here forever. That's why I generally just use Kazan as an example. But my point is, this is very, very, very useful. But that leads me on to the downside. Because the downside of this, and it is a, a fairly significant downside, is I think this month's or next month's V-Jump is going to be an absolute pain to get hold of. Could be wrong. Would love to be wrong. It's coming out in two weeks on the 19th of May. And it's like an anniversary issue. It's the 30th anniversary. So there's a Battle Spirits card. And the Trafalgar Law. And the Union Arena card. And a Yu-Gi-Oh card. And there's Dragon Ball Hero stuff. And I'm not 100% sure what the quarter century anniversary selection for Yu-Gi-Oh is. The combination of my rudimentary Japanese, I am learning and getting better, and my lack of knowledge of Yu-Gi-Oh! I know it's the 25th anniversary so they're doing stuff, but my point is, it seems like there's some really cool Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff going on in addition to the free card and it does look like this could end up being a real pain to try and get hold of. So, usual deal, if I see it for sale on Amazon Japan, I will tweet out a link, it's kind of what I do, but this one could be an absolute pain to get hold of. You have been warned. Just remember that if this really does sell out as quick as it could do because of everything else, the single for Trafalgar Law might end up being a little bit easier to get hold of because people are going to be selling, because, you know, a bunch of people who buy it for Dragon Ball or Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, look, I've got a spare Law promo. So maybe they'll be available. Just cross your fingers, ladies and gentlemen. Cross your fingers. And this is a, a smaller story, but it is one I want to mention just quickly. Because there's some cool stuff going on with One Piece over in Japan at the moment. Including, well, they're officially referring to it as the Children's Day Special side event. Now, as I record this today, it is Children's Day. It is worth pointing out it is Golden Week in Japan at the moment. Yesterday was Earth Day. Today is Children's Day. It's basically a week of celebration. So, lots of holidays and things along those lines. And one of the things they're doing for Children's Day is doing this tournament where you can actually go ahead and get yourself some very cool stuff, including a bag with the Luffy artwork on it. Is it just... No, this is the alternate art Monkey to Luffy from Romance Dawn, I should say. And I don't know if I'm just going too far down the nerdy One Piece TCG rabbit hole... But is it weird that I really want one of these bags? Because like, I kind of really, really want one of these bags. Yeah, I might be going too far into this, ladies and gentlemen. I might be going too far into this. There is also a storage box featuring Pirate Luffy, which I know is kind of redundant because Luffy kind of is a pirate. That's the point. But I mean like the Luffy that's got the big pirate hat on. There we go. Is that a little bit clearer? That should be a little bit more explicit there. Very much like the Luffy we saw in OPO2, Paramount War. Although, obviously, there was the playmat and all that just came out in Japan with this artwork on. And it's rather lovely. That's why they've got the box. 
And it is really cool, you know, this tournament is Children's Day, like I say, in Japan. It is for specifically for elementary school students and junior high school students, which is extremely cool. And there's a lottery for prizes and all kinds of fun stuff. And I just love this. I mean, this is an incredibly cool idea. Get kids involved in the game and just have an awful lot of fun. Plus, you know, some very cool stuff. Right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you need to know. And now it's over to you guys. What do you think about this lore? Do you think it could be good like I do? Or am I getting too excited over nothing? How jealous are you of missing this Children's Day event? Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about well, a whole bunch of things like the One Piece card game. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join the Discord and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.